All right, you small, angry child. I have good news and I have bad news. The good news is that, you know, you're still here, which I was a little bit worried about. Uh, you're still inside of your little house. And you know what? We're going to make it really nice for you. I was thinking we could make you a bed made out of mud. I'm sleeping in a bed made out of mud in my treehouse. It's actually quite nice. Uh, but the bad news is I'm worried that you're going to disappear because it turns out, even though I have a handy dandy name tag, um, I did not bring enough iron with me in order to go ahead. <laughs> And make an anvil! What the heck? You guys! I brought, like, I thought I brought as much iron as I could possibly carry. I, we had so much. I was so super confident that we were going to have everything we needed. Whoops, don't want to get too close. He does bite. Everything we needed in order to go ahead and, you know, get things done. Get little villages started. But here we are with our second villager here at Drony Drip Pond. And, and okay, okay, he can, he can kind of actually, um, you've got a good jumping ability there, little buddy. We might have to come up with an alternative uh, containment system for you. What do you think about your own windows and maybe a door that, that you can't really think about opening yourself? I, I think that might work out better for both of us in this relationship. <laughs> But hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to Zoo Crafting, where yes, we still are here at Drony Drip Pond. Uh, look, like you can remember where we are because I put a sign. I'm pretty proud about myself uh, putting a sign there. I'm thinking I need to put a lot of signs in more places. But yes, we are still here. And yes, I know friends, we need to rescue Pepper Seed's mother sunflower. But for now, I'm having a lot of fun. Home is where the heart is after all. And right now, even if our heart is a small angry green child who literally tries to bite and eat our ankles there's something charming about being out here there's something enriching to be able to go ahead and feel my survival skills have to like come into play again and also there's a lot of important life lessons i seem to be learning about oh oh sir you forgot all of these basic things when it comes to going ahead and figuring out how to freaking just survive in our world of zudesia uh, did I bring enough iron? No. Did I remember about zombies' heads popping off and trying to eat you? No. Did I remember to bring, like, I brought the fancy enchanted diamond shovel? Did I remember that it's going to break apart just trying to collect a teensy little bit of mud? No. <laughs> So I would argue this trip has already been worth it because it has been teaching me so many things. And I'm also super excited because one of the things that I want in this, the last season of zoo crafting, because we're never going to stop counting the numbers. I'm, I'm looking forward to zoo crafting episode 25,000 or whatever. All right, that one might be a little ambitious. How about we aim for zoo crafting episode 3,000? We'll start there. Chip and I will probably be celebrating, I don't know, our 10th, 11th, 20th wedding anniversary. We'll all have a party. <laughs> and we'll build our way up to more episodes after that. Um, but I think, I, I actually think this is good for me. Uh, it's definitely allowing me to learn a lot of things. And it's reminding me when I forget to bring essential items, like a freaking set of plant pots. I did not bring any plant pots. And that is just such a travesty. However... Friends, I do think we're going to be able to fix that because Outgrid, Outgrid, who is so cool and also has apparently wandered into a portal that is lurking somewhere around here and I should probably fill, uh, like, find, fill out on the little map. Actually, now that I think about it, do I have this place marked on the little map? Uh, Journey Step Lake. Is that what I was calling this place? Well, that's charming, but Drony Drip Lake is absolutely more appropriate. Uh, or Drony Drip Pond, I should say. Come on, we can't be that serious. Journey Step Lake? Come on, that that was so serious. We, we need to, like, live a little. Um, there we go. All right, so we do have this place marked on the map, which is good, because uh, it means we can find it again, Pepper Seed. And we do have a little bit more work to do, because now... We have villagers here! We have Outgrid, who actually has some cool things to show us in just a little bit here. And we have, may I present to all of you, a name that our fantastic patrons helped me pick, because they know how much I adore taking care of our little zombie villagers. May I present to you, Angrid. Yes, like Outgrid, except he's an angry child, so he is Angrid. 
And today's goal, today's mission is going to be giving him his name so that we don't end up losing him. And possibly trying to make a little bit more of a secure environment for this small and angry child. Alright, Angrid, I'm really worried you're going to, like, despawn if I'm not careful. So we're going to put him away in this little safari net with his questionable amount of health that looks kind of like the... <laughs> That looks like if you were trying to, like, calculate the number for pi or whatever. Uh, we're going to go ahead and leave him here. And our goal today is to get a name tag for him. Um, I have a whole bunch of iron ingots that I'm actually going to use to go and to make a new shovel and maybe a backup pickaxe because I don't want to break my diamond pickaxe. And we're going to leave a ton of our supplies here. So you don't need the amber shard or this. Oh, that's right, the sunflower rescue mission. Okay, that makes me feel a little guilty <laughs> seeing the sunflower rescue mission. <laughs> we still haven't found Aster Seed, though some of our patrons think he might be hiding with the peafowl back at the peafowl enclosure and the actual Zudesia part of the zoo part of Zudesia. Um, and then I guess we're gonna need to come up with a new page. Drony Drip Pond. And we need to keep a little list of, like, stuff we need here. Iron for Angrid's name. Okay, Iron for Angrid. Anvil. How about we start there? And then we need to name Angrid. Oops. Angrid. Forever. <laughs> uh, secure Angrid's room. And then help find Outgrid's backpack. <laughs> Out okay, well, let's put backpack down here. Missing backpack. Oh yeah, and then uh, kind of like finish treehouse roof. And then I want to make small kitchen so outgrid doesn't starve. That, that seems relevant to the interest of the people that we are befriending here, if you ask me. Uh, so there are some more of our goals. There, written down on a list that we can promptly use, you know, to start a fire with and completely destroy. That's fine. <laughs> All right, but yes, so that's going to be today's goal, and then maybe next time we'll be able to, like, finish working on the treehouse a little bit. We can do a little bit more exploring to see what other buildings might be good over here. Collecting up the cows, the sheep, those invasive species, and restoring this wilderness to some of its uh, more native, like, removing some of the invasive bamboo, restoring it to a more native state, um, and even, like, restoring the chickens. We could totally work with some of the biologists from from Zudesia Zoo on those things. We could have them come and we could trade them these totally not supposed to be here in the wild animals because they belong on a farm. Uh, we can trade them these guys in exchange for some creatures that actually could live here. Think of how cool it would be if we had bears, if we had wolves, if we had maybe things with less teeth roaming the forest. Um, Actually, now that I'm thinking about that, it would be nice to have things with less teeth. Like, maybe a deer. Deer have teeth, but usually they don't use one, like, their teeth on you. And speaking of trades, Alcred! She does actually have some cool new things that she can trade because she's settling in quite well, my friends. Uh, we still haven't found that portal she went through, so I don't know how to get her home. But until then, she's decided to take up knitting so we can actually trade her wool for moss! Because, come on, she is the leader of the Moss Stump Club in the Ooglets world. So, of course, she's going to be very handy with moss. And if we collect enough moss, she can even help us grow a moss patch on the ground. Do you know how cool that is? That's amazing! That's amazing! Also, she really loves seaweed wraps, which we can actually make out of the seaweed kind of growing in the whole big giant ocean that's literally behind us. Uh, and then we can go ahead and give her maidenhair spleenwort. In ex or she'll give us that <laughs> in exchange because Outgrid is actually a fantastic naturalist in her native home, which is our Ooblet series because this is a cross-pollination crossover that we have going on here, just in case you hadn't picked up on that yet. Shh. Shh. Immersive roleplay. Immersive roleplay. Uh, but because she is a naturalist who is familiar with wandering around in the forest, she can actually collect a lot of really cool plants, like the maidenhair spleenwort, aka a fern that we could hang in a hanging planter, which I totally want to do. And if we give her 
some chocobo feathers because she has actually become quite enamored with pepper seed then we can go ahead and give her get a wild columbine from her uh, and if we give her a nest because she just likes collecting nature stuff then she'll give us a dandelion puff set uh, those are always cute and I love making wishes with them and making wishes is like an ooblet's worldview culture thing. So that's actually pretty adorable. I didn't even think about that till now. Also, if we bring her a toast Sammy, then she finds some flat mushrooms that we could use either as food or decoration. And she's decided that she wants to start getting some of the red dye so that she can get the wool, get the dye, go ahead, start knitting things from the red following vines. And in exchange, she'll give us this like orangey forest bush, which I thought was cool. And here, friends, here is something that Outgrid requested that I actually had no idea existed and I think is so freaking cool. An oak window box. What is an oak window box, you say? Guys, that's a cute little box that you can put plants in. You can put plants inside of them. Oh, that's a beautiful moonrise. Plants, literally more plants. Oh, I was so excited when I saw that. Um, also, did I break my shears? Gosh darn it. I mean, that's not going to make my life any easier. Oh, I forgot I had... Huh. The Dagger of Noms. I forgot I brought the Dagger of Noms with me. Oh, I have a ton of wool there. Oh, and I've got a little bit of moss. Okay, I'm going to yank these out. Okay, the wool, I just remembered, I have in there. Okay, we could trade her some of that, but we'll think about that. Um, but the wool, I just remembered I had in there to make a bunch of beds which made large assumptions on me being willing to cut down trees. I'm not willing to cut down some of these trees. <laughs> I need to modify, uh, modify those assumptions. But anyway, the oak freaking window boxes. Like, I had never seen them before, but they come in so many variants. Wait a second, they come in stone? Are you kidding? Wait a second. Are you telling me? I could put plant window boxes in my mine shafts made out of stone. Hang up. Hold up here. Um, okay. Stone slabs, flower pot. Flower pot needs brick. Brick needs clay. Clay can come from sand and from dirt in a jaw crusher. Okay, what do I need to make a jaw crusher out of? Surely that's simple. Oh, that's not simple. That's the opposite of simple. That is the least simple thing. <laughs> <laughs> that is the least simple thing I have ever seen. Uh, wow, okay. Is there a different way that one might source clay? Uh, from a clay container? Or the jaw- I mean, I would love to get, like, clay from a jaw crusher, but I- Upon reflection, I've never made a jaw crusher, and maybe I should just go dig in the mud. <laughs> That's my opinion now. Maybe I just need to like actually go and dig for some clay because that's ridiculous. Um, and maybe there's other ways to get clay too. I'm going to have to really think about that. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have to make that window box thing because that's really cool. It is going to require getting a lot of clay though. And I, I feel like there's a really obvious way to get more clay that I'm just completely forgetting about right now. But that is why we're here to try to like remind ourselves of all these things. Uh, and then also Outgrid's last trades are actually some wonderful food recipes from her own world that she's bringing over and modifying a little bit to be in our world. If we bring her three Geishel greens, which she actually has quite the, like, sweet tooth for, I think they remind her of this thing called Sweetie Beaties from her realm, uh, she'll make us button soup. And if we bring her coconut milk, because she also saw the really cool coconut tree on the island off the coast, then she will give us gummies, which apparently are used as currency in her world, but are just delicious treats in ours, and possibly theirs. And if we bring her a carrot and bread, she will make a hop dog for us, which is a carrot hot dog, which I think is adorable. So we're going to have a great relationship, and she's been having fun roaming around. Definitely need to improve security. I saw the zombie back there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, what was that? Mm -hmm. You think I didn't see you, sir? Yeah, so I gotta work on security, and I've actually been thinking about building a proper, like, moat. Yes, a moat. Like, I was like, what if we dug a big hole? Terror, watch out! I hear the zombie, and that's a big zombie. That's an adult growl, not a baby growl. Huh. 
But I was thinking, what if I dig like a deeper moat around the treehouse and make a bridge to get onto it as a like defensive thing for outgrid? And then I was also thinking I need to probably take care of this security issue up here. And I could go ahead and maybe replace this little hill with a house for her. Wouldn't that be freaking cute? All right, we'll work on those things soon. Man, I wish I could go ahead and know. So how can I use the sand crop mutation? Apparently did like a crop produce jaw crusher bloomery process. I don't even know what that is. Oh my goodness. Literally grout. There's so many things I have never in my life done, even though we have spent years in zoo crafting. Huh. All right. Well, today's mission, like I said, we're going to try to go get some iron for an angry child. Uh, I'm going to just... Okay. Okay. I was like, is he still... Did he get out? No, no. That sounds like a different angry child. Um, you know what? On, on second thought, I have slept in the bed here. Is there anything in my backpack? Like, I'll take a couple safari nets, I think. And maybe an apple pie. I wouldn't turn that down. Um... I've got like some food for the dogs. I've got, <laughs> I've got zombie jerky. That seems, I'm just gonna put the zombie jerky away because that seems a little weird to carry around right now when we're trying to like get a name tag applied to a baby zombie using an anvil. Mm, it does seem, seem just a touch weird. Um, and I think I'm gonna leave like some of my other tools and also the to-do list here. No, we'll bring Ocean's Gaze, because I think Ice Song, with its ability to both freeze and use flame, is going to end up, like, getting us in more trouble than help helping us. We'll bring food for the puppers. I need to turn some of these tools. We'll put away this diamond axe. There we go. And I think I'm going to leave my diamond shovel, because... It's just being, it's just being wonky. Oh, and there were my shears all along. I probably don't need my shears either. I mean, I might, so we'll bring those. Um, oh, geez, outgrid. Okay, I need to be, I need to build the moat because that'll make me a little less jumpy about thinking that there's just zombies around every corner. All right, jungle wood planks. You're going to be heckin' useful for making some sticks. And I'm going to need actually just all of these turned into sticks. Um, and let's get another iron pickaxe or two. There we go. And we're just going to have to, like, get a ton of iron, I think. Just go down into the mines. I, this is probably the first time I've been mining in years, to be completely honest. And, uh, let's see. Should I bring anything else? I think that's good. Like, backup, backup pickaxes to use. Um, I mean, I'll bring a couple iron just in case we need it for something. And then, where did all that coal? Okay, that's just outgrid. Yes, once again, I need to go ahead and build. Here's a bunch of the peat coal. I need to build a lot of, um, a lot more defenses so that when outgrid walks by, I don't try to just like smack her. And how many torches? Should I just turn all these? I'm just gonna turn all these into torches. There we go. Cause we'll probably find more peat coal while we're digging around. That actually turned out to be really useful. I remember being a little shy about collecting the peat coal because I was like, oh, I wonder if I'm wasting time. Uh, no, it actually was quite useful. All right. Where's my ladders? I love how we have a beautiful view of the moonrise and the moonset, which probably correlates. Oh, there's even more peat coal over here. Nice. You guys, we were a lot more organized about all of that than I thought. Uh, and I think the villagizer has has all of the ladders. All right, Lily. All right, Tate. This is going to be interesting. It's our first mining expedition in literally years. Uh, the goal is just to kind of go down there, do some exploring, and see if there's a whole bunch of coal. Or excuse me, iron. I was thinking about coal. <laughs> Okay, and I don't have, I don't have, uh, any ladders. That's okay. We'll just have to build our way up. The old-fashioned. See, I'm learning things. I'm remembering things. Um, and let's do this. Hmm. Do I want to make it so that, okay, we're just gonna, we're just gonna jump in. 
and oops no we're not going to just jump in we're going to wiggle over here and return all of that iron to a location that is less likely to get lost and I'm going to bring the expedition supplies with us upon reflection because otherwise we're going to drown in all of the ores we're going to be collecting all right this is like jumping to a pool who that's the way that my beloved husband at chips likes to do it because he he's the one of those people who's just like I'm just going to get in the pool I'm just going to be ready. I'm going to get wet. Okay, Lily? Tate? I forgot to make a shovel. Well, that's going to be nifty in a place that's like full of a whole ton of... Ooh, this is quite pretty. <laughs> I, I, I did forget a shovel. <laughs> and I don't have like any wood. This is already... Uh, no, no. I, I'm, just, I'm just being silly. I'm just being silly. Um, let's see... This is silly. I think I'm a little afraid of the dark. Because it's been so long since I've been down anywhere like this. And then, oh, I should have brought my... Why didn't I bring my... I want to go back. I want my... <laughs> I need a shovel tape. Oh, no. And now I'm, like, stuck in here. I don't even have enough blocks to get out. <laughs> Unless I use wool. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is so funny. We've just discovered something, friends. We've discovered... Ah, Lily! <laughs> that apparently I have spent too long being away from, like, uh, the world of, of being down in a cave. And I have managed to get myself a little bit afraid of the dark. And apparently I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to bring Ice Song after all. Because I forgot I prefer long-ranged confrontation rather than being right up in somebody's face. Boy, that's a running consistent theme in ma many multiple areas of my life. What the heck? Maybe I am a little afraid of the dark. Maybe that explains why I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to build a whole moat to stay away from these spooky zombies. Uh, and everything else, too, huh? Hiking is like the same thing as walking, but with less pavement. Outgrid, words of wisdom there. Words of wisdom. All right, let's go collect our wool. <laughs> Oh, jeez. And did I leave the iron in here? No, and I, I should probably use the iron to make another set of shears, because mine are almost broken. Alright. How is it that we're using more iron to get to the point where we're going to have more iron? <laughs> Tate, this is ridiculous. Alright, let's go. Back down. Alright, thank you very much, shears. Hey, look how much better this is! Okay. Note to self, I was just a little afraid of the dark. Everything's going to be fine. Alright, got my torches, got my puppies, got my fear of death and things that go oomph in the night. I could have sworn... Ha ha! Alright, that made me feel better. I miss our moonworm queen about now. Ooh, this is really pretty. Do you guys remember the Moonworm Queen? She could have sent her children down to light up that area, and then we would have been able to see without having to go all the way down there. I, I, I fear that we may have lost the Mother Moonworm when we did lose everything else, and we may have to go find one of her, like, sisters or what have you. Oh, fossils. Also, we lost all of our fossils, because I literally had all of our fossils in, in the backpack when we fell, which is just a, a tragedy among tragedies. Also, I'm remembering why diamond pickaxes are amazing. Ooh, and these are really pretty. What the heck? We've got a lot of pretty ores, too. I'm just, I'm just going to be collecting, ooh, slate, uh, a whole bunch of things. And you know what? We're just going to make a nice happy set of stairs it's not quite like a nice happy little tree but it'll do date for crying out loud oh oh eh. oh no oh no 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 we don't need to do that yeah we don't need to be tate i think i don't have you guys set to attack mode all right i'm gonna need to be brave Oh, jeez. Okay. This is bravery. This is bravery. This is why I'm afraid of the freaking dark, isn't it? All right. No head that time. Boy, I'm glad we have infinity arrows on this thing. Okay. Let's light some stuff up. 
this was necessary after all. Because if I don't, if I don't face these fears, and if I don't get used to the mining part of being in zoo crafting again, then we're in for a, a long haul, friends. That's the truth. Ooh, string! Yay! I need that. All right. Oh, it's gotten very, very quiet. Okay, that's lava. Oh, you know what else I should have gotten? Lily, don't you dare. <laughs> Lily loves to swim in lava, so I should probably get, like, some, uh... I should probably get myself some water. And there was some water back where we came from, but I just wanted to see where this is going. Wow. I hear a pig! Okay, we're probably close to the surface somewhere. Oh, I hear the birds. Well, that does mean we're close to water. And you know what? I wouldn't mind having an exit that went another direction. Oh, we're totally going to die in the sand if I'm not careful, aren't we? That would be such a humiliating way. <gasps> Is that clay? Oh! Oh yeah, it's clay, all right. Okay. Yep. Hi. Well? <laughs> like, on the plus side, <laughs> I went into the mines to find some iron, and on the plus side, I found a whole bunch of clay that is much easier to obtain than attempting to go ahead and craft something as confusing as a jaw crusher. Um, and we can make a ton of flower pots with this. I'm calling that a win-win-win. Except for the, you know, the fact that we didn't actually accomplish what we set out to do, and I'm slowly suffocating like down here. <laughs> no, and I'm not even picking up my clay. <laughs> Get out of here, Cole. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I think Lily and Tate are still just kind of like hanging out. Oh my gosh, there's so much clay. Um, oh, oh, and now I'm drowning. I would drown. I would drown for, for a flower pot. I've got to get it together, guys. This is just... This is just silly, even for me. Ooh, look at that, Tyrannosaurus tooth. You, I actually don't know if I found one of those before, so I would call that a good day. All right. Lily, of course, she's having a good time too. All right, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and collect up all this clay. I think that's really, really funny that we stumbled upon it. And we have all of the water that we could possibly ask for, because I just went ahead and decided I'm just going to get a whole ocean involved in our adventure. So, I'm going to fill up our, our bucket with some water. Now we'll have that to quench any of the lava that Lily is going to try to swim in. And I'm going to call it a day for now. <laughs> and eat some apple pie and reflect upon my absolute goose levels of gooseness. And also the question of, I think there's a structure built over there that we need to probably go see, possibly. Wow. Okay. Sitting on the side of the beach with my dogs. I have clay for flower pots. That's actually somehow the priority for me. <laughs> and we will continue to get over my uh, fear of the dark next time. So, if you guys could, do please leave a like for this little goose adventure. Did I just find something? What is this? What is this? Ooh, there's more clay! Did I just find something in the... Are there things in this? <gasps> clams! There's little clams hiding in this... This is so cute! Hi, guys! I think sometimes you can find, like, a mother of pearl clam hiding in these little clam spots. How adorable! We'll have to see if we can trade those with one of our biologists for something special. Yes! And look at all of these future flower pots! Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> but alright, guys. If you guys could, do please leave a like to give Lily and Tate a, a little treat. Uh, and if you would like to join us on this and all of your other scheduled goose adventures, all 3,000 to 7,095 or whatever we're going to see of zoo crafting, uh, then do please consider subscribing. But until next time, stay curious. Bye-bye, guys. I swear we'll do something useful next time, I promise.